All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's jump into this. Unfortunately, no real structure today on the video. I'm just going to get into the TA, just the trades uh, and stuff like that, just because I've been moving condo today and it's been just, I've been lifting so much stuff. Okay, I'm tired. I just need to get this done <laughs> for you guys. I'm suffering. Okay, but uh, yeah, let's just take a look at the charts here. We can see that, uh, yeah, we've had a nice bit of volume increase here in terms of volume for moving averages. Uh, we've also had a disgusting trappy scenario. Uh, as the weekend ended. So uh, again, Sunday is usually the Chinese selling day, right? So all the Chinese miners will sell, okay? Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, that has happened and it's just getting bought up as we speak right now. One thing I will say with this, because a lot of people don't get this when we do get pumps, right? Is when we do smash through moving averages like this without testing them along the way, right? So you can see here with the dumps, we've tested each moving average as we come through, right? Um, and that is the healthiest way to go in, in a move for Bitcoin or any asset, really. So when we're seeing a push through like so, all right, uh, this is something where you should be expecting potentially a pullback or even like a death wick scenario where we do retest all of those moving averages. So uh, yeah, just be a little bit cautious about longing the top here. Uh, we are currently trying to test this uh, support level here that, that has become resistance. Uh, but now, yes, we are kind of breaking through in that last five minutes of the one hour candle. Just looking on the four hours. Well, yeah, okay. So the four hours ending here as well and we can see again with the same kind of uh, synapses here we are kind of breaking through these moving averages so I think as this candle ends we do get that pullback scenario where we do actually retest this in the next candle uh, and then push forward from there potentially anyway um, and besides that I do want to just go over some quick stuff here uh, where is this where is it gone where is it gone I've got it here somewhere I've got it here somewhere where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so uh, yeah, if we are looking at the macro Capoli index, we get a new update on that every Sunday. You can see August 11th. It's still orange. Okay, you probably can't really see this very well, uh, but it is still orange. That's good. Okay, it's a good sign because when this turns red, very, very bad for Bitcoin. When it's orange, it's still in that kind of cool down, slow down period uh, where we can, uh, we can come down, of course, but it's not the end of the world and it's always recoverable when this happens, right? So uh, it's actually a good sign that we got an orange tip there uh, on this bad boy okay and now let's just go back to the charts right here right now thank you if you have liked the video as well guys uh, we can see yes we are trying to kind of reclaim this level uh, we have filled this CME gap wherever it is come on mate there it is yeah CME gap we actually filled here okay uh, so yeah it's it's a lot of people would say it's not filled even here they would be like hey there's a CME gap but no this is actually it being filled here okay so uh, anything can still happen but it is looking a lot more like we do uh we do push forward here up to this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band so uh, keep an eye out for that one that is all the way up to 61 1 uh, and yeah that would be a great area to kind of level off before pushing forward forward or smashing it down. Uh, what I'm doing right now is, uh, is, is trying to layer in a few orders here. Okay. I'm trying to layer in a few orders here. Potentially we get the pullback and then we continue up. All right. But it's really going to depend how we mess around this 50, 59 K level. We'll call it right. 59 K. If we hold 59 K, then I think we do just go up from there. If we don't hold 59 K and then we do something like this, I would probably just exit those trades as they are and then expect us to come down a little bit more. Uh, and then, uh, again, as I talked about last week, guys, I am looking to set up a grid bot in this area. The grid bot will currently be around 54K all the way up to about 62K. So if we do head down into these lower levels, okay, guys, then uh, I will just be expecting a trend line to form there. And then as long as we are pretty much inside this trend line, right? So as long as we're riding along this trend line, then uh, I would just be layering in orders, taking advantage of the volatility in the area. Okay, it's a big news. It's a big week for news and events and stuff like this. Uh, I've heard anyway, I haven't actually checked, <laughs> but I've read in the headlines that it is. It's a big data week across the world financially. So I imagine a lot of volatility for Bitcoin. All right. Uh, and uh, the worst the worst news we get, yes, Bitcoin will dump initially, but then people will be like, oh, okay, but isn't Bitcoin the thing you're going to invest in after we dump? And yeah, then they will just smash it in right so uh, it's actually quite bullish for bitcoin uh, this week with all the news coming through okay besides that bigger structure if we are looking at this here guys uh, we can see that uh yeah i mean 
we are chilling right now. We are chilling. Um, I'm actually going to move this down here because we've got more correlative lines around this level, right? So a nice descending channel that we can see coming through here. Uh, what we're going to be looking for here is some hash rates to come through. It is trying to recover here, as you can see. If the hash rate does get above these moving averages, it's going to be fantastic. And um, from that point, I'm not sure if you can hear the rain behind me. But um, yeah, from that point, if we can get above these moving averages, it's a great sign for Bitcoin. And uh, we would fade any capitulation event. If we stay underneath these moving averages, right, at, uh, for a week or so, then uh, yes, they will cross towards the downside. That will be an incredibly bearish signal. And it will give the signal for miners to sell. All right. And that would bring Bitcoin down to the low 50s, if not 40s. Okay. Uh, and besides that, besides that, what we're looking for here is to break above the 70k region, right? If we get above that 70k region, uh, it's it's all bets are off. Bull run is back, baby. Everyone buy meme coins, okay? <laughs> and not just meme coins, of course. But uh, yes, there, there will be some great merit to start longing from that point. And then we bang it. We make all of the money, okay? There will be a fantastic measure move here as well if you want to get in a bit earlier, just based on this channel we can see here. So uh, yeah, if we can essentially just do something along the lines of this, Okay, then we look to break the high. Okay, and then we play out the rest of the measure move up to the high 70s, which will be, yeah, oh no, 80k. 80k will be the, the, the kind of exact area we'll be targeting there. So uh, interesting stuff there. Just uh, the move we've been looking at for the past year, <laughs> I would say here, that the move we've been looking at for the past year may play out here towards the upside. Uh, if it doesn't, and uh, it does want to be one of these nuking scenarios where we do go lower, then uh, I would say potentially a nice trade here, nice trade, uh, if we do start getting another swan event come through, a nice 7% trade down to this trend line. I wouldn't really go below this trend line, and if you do, you're a risky boy, okay? You're a risky boy if you do that, uh, and the reason for that is uh, we, this trend line is super strong. This trend line is the uh, uh, the catalyst of our bull market. If we hold this trend line, we're in a bull market. If we don't hold this trend line, it's bad news, okay? And we'll probably go sideways slash down, um, probably for, well, sideways slash up slowly uh, for, I would say, a few months here. Uh, and I would say even potentially into 2025. And then we come into January, February, and we probably bang that thing hard okay we bang it okay so yeah that's what we'll be looking for there again still trying to build this long position but i have not added any buys yet so we got some buys in uh, obviously here we've got some buys in uh, here again uh, we got some buys in at 60k small amounts anyway uh, and uh, yeah we did actually add a little bit here it wasn't a massive amount because we were a little bit sheepish of the dump but um yeah what we can say here is if we do want to come down we'll make that higher low i uh, will definitely be looking at a buy uh, and we'll really just be trying to accumulate bitcoin in this area with a grid bot so we'll be looking at the volatility we'll be accumulating bitcoin uh, and then from that point we'll be looking to bang it and that will be accumulation on a 1x spot kind of thing right more of an investment accumulation from that point all right so that is going to be it from me have a fantastic day i hope you've uh, had fun over the weekend and stuff <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired, guys. I'm so tired. Be sure to check out Prime XBT. Uh, we're we're, in, we're on day six of our trading contest right now. We're currently like 90th place. I'm going to put a video out where I've updated you every single day on the progress. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be a little story driven video so you guys can see how I'm thinking about the markets and, and how the, the last week has gone generally. All right. So have a fantastic one and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.